Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new release day here on the channel. We're still we're into February and we're still getting caught up on stuff from 2022. Here is a uh, release from last year from a German band that's been around since the early mid 90s. They've got over a dozen albums to their credit. It's really the first time I'm hearing them, so i got to credit one of our viewers, Festin uh, Bulbius, who is a big fan of these guys. He sent me a bunch of their albums, and then the band themselves sent me a few others that I was missing. So thanks to the band and to Fast and Bulbius uh, for bringing these guys to my attention. They are a stoner, psychedelic stoner rock power trio from Munich, Germany. The band is called Color Haze. Sacred is the 2022 release. So again, well over a dozen albums going back to 1995. Uh, they have been on for many years through most of the 2000s on Electro Hash Records. Uh, originally, they were on uh, Monster Zero Records, David Records, Toaster Records. They were on all, all these really small labels. And this follows up their 2019 release, which is called We Are. But they've got other albums called In Her Garden, To the Highest Guards We Know, She Said, All, Temple, Self-Titled Color Haze, um, Los Sounds de Krauts, Periscope, Seven, Chopping Machine, so on and so forth. And the band is currently comprised of Stefan Koglik on guitars and vocals, Mario Oberpuchter on bass guitar, Manfred Merwald on drums, and Jan Fassbender on keyboards. And uh, both Mario and Jan are fairly new to the band. They've been in the band since 20, 2020 and 2018. So, uh, but uh, Stefan and Manfred have been around for quite some time. Uh, Stefan, founding member of uh, Manfred since 1998. So, let's take a look at this one here. All right, before we talk a little bit about the music, kind of a cool cover there. There's the back. And one thing on many of their CDs, not a hell of a lot of information, no photographs, no nothing. Very, very brief. Maybe some lyrics, okay, because uh, they, they do have long songs with lots of just kind of psychedelic long instrumental passages, right? But there are, there are vocals, and there's uh, some additional information on the guys in the band. So uh, apparently these guys, when they first got their start, heavily influenced by the great band Caius, who actually just did a rank in the album show just a couple days ago, uh, no coincidence there. Long tracks, a mix of brooding, heavy riffage with more lengthy, spacey, stonery uh, guitar explorations and kind of meditative drumming and that sort of thing mixed with vocal uh, pieces and tracks and whatnot. Kind of hypnotic, kind of lulling. Uh, there's nothing here that's <clears throat> too, too heavy, but there is this element of kind of like understated fuzz that kind of permeates all the songs. Some pretty cool guitar soloing. Uh, you know, in listening to a lot of their, their albums over the last couple of weeks, uh, there's some of it I really like, and there's some of it that just I, I kind of wish they would just up the ante just a little bit. But I do like this one. This is, I think, one of uh, my favorites out of all their albums, but I haven't gotten through all of them yet, so this is this is going to be a long process because there's quite a stack of them. But I really like the guitar work. And like I said, if you like fuzz, there's plenty of fuzz on here, but it's not that kind of knock-you-over-the-head constant Sabbath-style riffing with you know the fuzz amped up to 11. But there's enough of it here. Cool kind of bluesy soloing. I wouldn't really call much of this metal, but it sits somewhere in that kind of heavy blues rock, stoner biker rock psychedelic kind of framework which uh, I kind of dig uh, I'm really I've been into listening to a lot of this type of music of late and I really like there's so many bands doing something similar but these are the guys who have kind of very quietly built up a nice career and they've been at this for a long time so there's probably a lot of the younger bands that have been listening to Color Haze for quite some time which is kind of neat so uh, lots of albums you can they're fairly easy to get so I would check if you're at all interested uh, you know Maybe start with this latest one and work your way back. I don't really know what is considered their best uh, or most popular at this point. So anywhere you jump in probably is a good one. So, uh, But Sacred is the latest from Germany's Color Haze. So check it out. If you've already heard it, let us know what you think of it in the comments below. If you haven't, go listen, come back, 
and give us your summary of the of the music and what you think. And uh, we'll see you back here with more stuff. Should have at least one more for you here today. Visit us at, uh, on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together. All the damn time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get an alert of all of our content as it posts. And uh, please do hit the like button before you leave. And if you care to leave us a, uh, a donation, got the link to our Ko-Fi page below as well as our merch page. So thanks for watching. I am Pete Pardo. Have a good one, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.